Great day! Welcome to our second quarter in English. We are now in our first learning pocket. It's English time! Since we have two topics for today, let us first discuss or read the sight words. When we say sight words, these are the words that you can read on sight. Like the words there, this, think, those, told, under, very, and walk. Another examples are the following. Let us read all together. About, better, bring, carry, hot, hurt, if, keep, clean, cut, done, draw, kind, laugh, light, long, drink, eight, fall, far, much, myself, never, only, full, got, grow, hold, own, pick, seven, shall. We also have a, away, blue, come, and big, can down him how no live his just let me so those are examples of sight words did you get it very good so now let us move on to our next topic which is context clues do you know how to get the meaning of unfamiliar words without using a dictionary if not context clues will help you for you to find the meaning of unfamiliar words look for the following pictures helping words words that you know examples and definitions punctuations synonyms and antonyms for example jason was is jason was in a somber mood when he heard the bad news the unfamiliar word in the sentence is the word somber now let us look for its meaning what would you feel when you heard a bad news if you are the one who will hear the bad news what would you feel would you feel happy or would you feel sad that is a bad news very good so you will feel sad so somber means sad did you get it okay another example eating too much junk food may be hazardous to your health the unfamiliar word in the sentence is the word hazardous now let us look for its meaning when you are the one who will eat too much junk food what would happen to you okay very good so hazardous means dangerous food so if you eat too much junk food it may be dangerous to your health so that is the meaning of hazardous another example billy descended the stairs into his basement let us look at the picture when we say basement it is the underground 
floor of the house. So, if you are the one who will go to the basement, what would you do? Would you walk up or walk down? So, when we say descended, it means that you will walk down. Did you get it? Very good. For better experience and deeper understanding of the lesson, you may use your PLP book as your guide on pages 28 to 41. If you still have any question, you may contact me at my Facebook or Messenger account. Thank you everyone. Have a nice day and God bless you.